Hi guys, welcome to Friends and Flicks. Things are heating up, things are getting exciting. We are down to the final five. No, isn't it six? Yeah. Jillian? I mean six. Isn't Angela? Okay. <laughs> How do you feel about Ricky gone? <laughs> <laughs> I really like Ricky, mm. but I understand where Mark's coming from because she was being quite like defensive and very like, what's going on? What's going on? So I understand why he was feeling like, I need, I'm not sure. And you are obviously wanting assurance that I can't give you. She realized that if he was really into her, he would have made a plan and he didn't which kind of meant he wasn't that into her and that's okay. And then, but then also when you're older, you sort of, you don't have time, like you know what you want and you don't, and you know what you don't want. And okay. What did you think about the whole bungee jumping thing? <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. Angela, I had butterflies in my stomach as I watched the episode of them jumping. It was very cool. <laughs> But wait a minute. No, Catherine, I, I'm, I, I disagree. It was not cool. If I, if I met a guy who was like, oh, I want to see how this person deals with fear, and then they make me do something physically crazy, that is not a test as what kind of person I am. But Angela, if you didn't... You best believe, you, no, you no. best believe if I went on a date and the guy was like, we're going bungee jumping, I'd be like, no. Or if he was like, but you've got to prove to me, I'd be like, I guess I'm not for and you then. That's what I, thought, I thought it was quite funny when Bridget as well got to the bottom and she was like, oh, I did it for love. Okay, I'm not going to bungee jump for love. I'm going to bungee jump because I want to do it and it's fun. I'm not going to do it for love. You just bungee jumped for a stranger. I mean, if I had to bungee jump every time I saw a hot stranger, I would be a bungee jumping expert. I must say, Ange, I quite like Gillian in this episode. I also like her. I really like the way she was like, I'm going to close my eyes. And then she just, I thought that was very brave of her. She just said if she could scream, she went, ah, I'm just testing if I can scream. <laughs> I also really liked it and I liked the way she's like basically collapsed, cry slash laughing. I thought that was great. Back, listen here, back to the bungee jumping. Do you think that was Mark's idea? No, I think that was the producer's Kerry and um, Kerry and? Kerry and Tasneen. Kerry and Tasneen came up with a bungee jumping. Okay, because I was going to say if that was Mark, I'm a bit like angry with him. <laughs> Why? It's a fun thing. No, it's not a fun thing. Only a fraction of the population find that fun. I would say the majority of the people, the population, find that experience horrifying. I want to talk about Melissa and that cooking date. I, I, okay, last week it felt like that relationship was basically over. I thought that date went well. She looked beautiful in that shirt. Like she looked absolutely gorgeous. But Angela, I don't beautiful. think I don't think that date went particularly well. I I thought of, Angela I thought we've nice. spoken about this before. If Mauricio oh, right. went on that dinner date, there would be yeah. nothing. They would be yeah. lying on that table smooching. Because <laughs> Yes. They would be doing body shots and eating some kind of food no. off each other's body. They wouldn't be cooking. That is true. Yes. yes, that date would have to be edited for television because it would have been like PG rated. Because let's say okay. these girls are looking absolutely stunning in their cocktail that, I've got to say they all have really beautiful figures. Wow. They all have absolutely stunning figures. My favorite Beautiful. dress from this week was Jessica's dress. She, like, she looked like the same hair and all also, ever did her hair and makeup. Jessica looked by far the best this time. So we've got to find out who that design was... is. I'm feeling a little sorry for Mark now that he's down to the final six. I think this is going to be some trying times. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do we want to rethink our final three? Yes. Let's rethink the final three. Okay. 
Maritia. Obviously. Obviously. Obviously, Maritia. Hands down. Jess. Definitely Jess. But then who's our third? I think it's Bridget. Or Mulesa. Oh my gosh. I was thinking the same thing. Mm. I think it's Bridget. Mm. I think it's Bridget. Okay, everyone. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Join us again next week. We're really looking forward to it. It's down to the wire. Nearly. Nearly. Bye, everyone. All right to see you next week. Cheers.